everybody, welcome back to Sew Me Sunshine. Today's video is gonna be all about corduroy. So we did a video all about linen in the summer and corduroy is almost like the winter version of linen. Um, that's what I think anyway. It's a really versatile fabric, perfect for your autumn winter wardrobe and then it can transition really nicely into spring as well. So what's corduroy you might ask? So corduroy is a woven fabric and it is a what you call a high cut pile fabric so that means that it's got the texture and that's with the ridges that you find with corduroy is that you find that they've got ridges across the fabric now these ridges depending on how many they are are represented with the word whale so you might see on the website 21 whale or 8 whale and the higher the number the more ridges there are and that means they're more narrower so for example something that's called like a baby cord will have a higher number whale and then something that we call like a jumbo cord will have a lower number so it just depends on what kind of look you want and also normally it reflects in kind of the weightiness of the fabric so for example our jumbo cords are have a bit more weight to them so then therefore you might decide to make slightly different patterns with them compared to something that is lighter in weight like our stretch needle cords or our baby cords. So talking about stretch, again with corduroy, it is a woven fabric but sometimes it's got elastane woven into the fabric which gives it a slight stretch. So similar to what you'd expect with a stretch denim. So it might make it a little bit more comfortable for you. And then some of our other corduroys are just 100% cotton. So that won't have any stretch in it. So you'll have to bear in mind again when you're thinking about what sort of thing you're gonna sew with it. With At So Many Sunshine, we have so many different types of corduroy in stock, especially over this time of year, and lots and lots and lots of different colours. So I can assure you that you'll find a colour that you'll love because we stock an absolute rainbow selection, which we all love here. Um, the other thing to, to bear in mind with corduroy is washing and caring for it. So obviously you can wash it like you would normally wash a, wash a fabric, but you have to bear in mind that with ironing, I'd always iron on the reverse, so not over the ridges. And also as well, when you're cutting out your project, you want to bear in mind where the pile lies, because obviously you don't want, if, for example, if you're cutting out a trouser pan, you don't want one leg going in one direction, one going in another direction, otherwise the colors will look different and it will feel different as well so um, there's a lot of debate over which way it should flow um, I personally think whatever you fancy <laughs> there's no right or wrong way right so we're going to show you the different types of corduroy we've got in the shop and also pair them with some indie patterns for you okay so first up are our jumbo corduroys so this beautiful one which I think we've referred to as pomegranate it's a really rich dark pink color is one of our 100% cotton jumbo cords so this one doesn't have any stretch to it at all as you can tell so it's a fairly structured fabric so when I mean structured it means that if you go for like that drape look it holds its shape and as you can see you can probably see very clearly the whales the ridges they're really prominent and big. Um, I think from memory it's 4.5 whale this. So it's a, what you call a classic jumbo cord. And we've got so many lovely colors of this in stock. I think we've got like um, a really nice rich caramel color. We've got a dark green, a blue, a paler pink, mustard, yeah petrol so many different colors they're really really beautiful it's nice to sew with um i've seen so many people make amazing things in jumbo cord over the years lisa in our team has recently made herself a jacket which i'm sure we'll share once she's got a picture of it so just to remind you again obviously on the reverse it's just plain soft no ridges on that side and then it's on the right side that you've got this high cut pile ridge effect 
And then we've also got a couple of jumbo cores that have some stretch to them. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, with um, corduroys they're woven fabric, but they do have some that have elastane blended into them, so which gives them a slight stretch. So it's only a two, what you call two-way stretch, so it's just along this way, and it's a very small stretch. It's something, like I said, you'd expect with like a stretch denim. So they make really good for um, a garment that you want a little bit of give to them that's when you want a stretch <laughs> um, to them. So something like maybe a trouser pattern is great when it's a stretch jumbo corduroy. So this one actually has, as you can see, compared to our 100% cotton jumbo cores, it's got what you, a finer wear. It's still what I'd refer to as jumbo, because it's still very prominent, but it is narrower to our classic 100% cotton ones. Like I said, we only have a couple of colours with the kind of jumbo stretch um, to them, but this is one of our beautiful smoky blue colours. Right, so patterns with jumbo cord. So like I mentioned, what's really good with um, the jumbo cord with a little bit of stretch to them is, some, is a garment that you need that kind of give to, so that means like a jeans or trouser pattern is really good so something like the landers which obviously come in shorts and trouser length um, by true bias a really good um, court jumbo corduroy pattern and i personally would go for one with a little bit of lasting to give it a bit of give and then you've also got the dawn by Megan Nielsen. It also comes in a, in a different size band, um, but it's PDF only, so you can find that on her website. Again, it comes in a shorts and a trouser version, and you could go for the 100% um, the cotton or the one with a slight bit of elastane in it. With jumbo cord, the our classic jumbo cord, what Lisa, as I mentioned earlier, Lisa's made herself an amazing jacket and one of our favourite jackets is the Stacker jacket by Paper Cut Patterns. It's a beautiful, beautiful jacket. Again, they've just launched um, a new size bands in their patterns. We don't currently stock the other size band. We will in the future when we need to do our reorder. But again, you could get the PDF online. Um, this is just the standard, the UK 6 to 20 version we've got in stock. And then you've also got the Grainline Studio Thayer jacket. We've actually got both size bands of this in stock. It's a lovely jacket pattern and again works really, really well with our jumbo cords. So going from a dip from the jumbo cord, we're going to look at our baby cord, or it might be called also needle cord online. But this is what I'd refer to as a very classic baby cord. So it's got a very very fine whale you can barely see it actually and it almost has therefore that feel of like a velvet which is really lovely with baby cords they are more lightweight so if you imagine what remember what the drape was like with the jumbo cord far really structured this still is structured but not as much as a jumbo cord because it is lighter in weight so it works really well for um, shirt patterns or dress patterns. I'm gonna show you a dress pattern that I think would work really well in this in a minute. These are baby cords are 100% cotton, so they don't have any stretch to them. Just a classic woven fabric. On the reverse, like the jumbo, it's just nice and soft against the skin, almost like a brush cotton. And then, like I said, it's got the very fine whale on the right side. So we've got some really beautiful printed baby cords in stock and we also have some solid colours as well if you would prefer a solid colour. Um, so it's a really really gorgeous fabric and like I said shirt pattern so um, something like the Archer by Grainline Studio um, would work really well and then there's lots and lots and lots of other shirt patterns out there but what came to my mind was the Deer and Doe Myososis dress, which I absolutely love. 
It's a really beautiful dress pattern. Um, it's got some buttons down the front and this would work really well. So it'd be a slightly oversized version with this type of fabric, but perfect for autumn, winter. Just imagine it paired with a pair of tights and it'd be a really lovely dress to wear. So we've also got a variety of stretch needle cords in stock. I love stretch needle cords. I personally really like the extra stretch because it's a little bit of comfort, especially in the autumn winter time, it's perfect. We've got a couple of rolls of this type of stretch needle cord. Now this is actually finer whale to the one I'm gonna show you in a minute. So it's almost very similar to the baby cords we've got in stock. It's got quite a nice kind of velvety, high quality finish to it. Really, really beautiful. And it's not, I wouldn't say it, it's lightweight, but I wouldn't say it's heavyweight either. It's a medium weight. It holds its structure a little bit more to, than compared to the 100% cotton baby cords. And on the reverse again, it's nice and soft. And then on the right side, it's got this very narrow, ridges and it like I said it's got almost like a velvety finish to them. In this version we've got this beautiful blue, we've also got a really nice green and a really rich bright paprika colour which is really lovely. So this has um, elastane woven in, you can actually see a little bit of it there. <laughs> so that gives it a little bit of stretch on the crosswise grain and obviously on the straight grain you won't find anything. So it just gives it a nice little bit of give into the fabric. So this sort of fabric is really, again, really versatile. Again, you could use the patterns, any of the patterns I've just shown you. It's just preference to what sort of statement look, how structured you want your garment to look. So again, you could make a dress in this, um, but it would be really, really good as something like a pinafore or skirt so something like the Nina Lee um, Camden is really good so it comes as a pinafore pattern and as a skirt pattern and we've also got these stretch needle cords and we've got a really really big rainbow colours of these in stock they're, um, I sourced these from Germany really good quality so again, like the one I've just shown you, it's got a little bit of stretch on the crosswise and then it's got none on the straight. So it's very similar to a stretch denim. This has um, a slightly more prominent way to it. So the ridge is a bit more prominent, but again, on the reverse, it's nice and soft and it's still got that really nice velvety finish to it. This hat is slightly more weighty than the one I've just shown you. As you can see, it's got some more structure to it holds its shape really well so again this would work really well for the trouser patterns i showed you earlier um, as well as the camden i've just shown you from nina lee but it also worked really well um, as the bobby our lovely megan from tilly and the buttons so again this comes as a pinafore type pattern and then it also comes as a skirt um, if you can see on the reverse on the pattern that one of the samples was actually made in our jumbo cord So again, it works well with jumbo cord as well as needle cord And then you've also got the Pippi pinafore by Jennifer Lauren, which is a really classic pinafore um, dress pattern really really pretty and again would work well with the needle cords or the jumbo cords it just depends on what kind of look you want how structured you want your garment to be so we've got like i said we've got so many different colors in this version of the stretch needle cords they're a very good value for money as well and i should mention all the cords i showed you today are wide fabric so you don't have to worry about needing to purchase more because they're narrow width they are nice and wide width fabric. So yeah, they're lovely. It just depends on what sort of look you want to go for. 
Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that's given you lots and lots of corduroy inspiration and helped you to understand slightly the differences between what corduroy is and also the differences between a jumbo to a baby cord. Um, because I know sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell online. We always try and use our um, spools of thread in our pictures to show you kind of the, especially when it comes to corduroy, to show you the, the way or the ridges of the corduroy fabric. But yes, hopefully this has helped you with your corduroy um, sewing journey and I hope you love corduroy as much as I do and that you've got some new inspiration to get sewing your autumn winter wardrobe. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.